untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Pack one, pick one. Headless Rider is awesome. Gonna be at its best in blue-black and kind of an exploit zombies deck. But even by itself it's usually a nice two for one. Otherwise, there's the Distracting Geist, can be quite effective in an aggressive white deck. Probably at its best in red, white, and blue, white. And what else do we have? Ridge Wolf, decent two drop for red, green. Weaver for a bit of ramp. Hunter, especially in the black, green, high toughness deck. And then, so far, I've also been pleased with the Gargantua. So it's not a bad common, especially alongside cards like Persistent Specimen. So those are all cards we're hoping to wheel to go with our Headless Rider, basically. Ooh, perfect. Felstinger, awesome follow-up. Zombie Scorpion plays well with our Sacrifice theme. And we're passing Gargantua. Can maybe get a Ritual later, too. The Assistant I've seen go pretty late, so that's also a card we can expect to wheel. Other good cards in the pack, of course, the Taxidermists, even Dormant Grove. While a bit slow, is eventually gonna provide a lot of value, especially in like a black-green high toughness deck. And then Ancestral Anger in red is also quite good in the blue-red archetype. Third pick. We do have a black card. It's not particularly great in blue-black exploits since we don't end up having many blood tokens, which is the main way of transforming it. So instead, I do like a Thirst for Discovery quite a bit. Nice card draw effect. And we kind of want it to be blue-black anyways. Can hope to wheel Scab. We saw one earlier too. So yeah, not passing a whole lot. That's exciting, so... Ooh, nice bleed dry fourth pick. Excellent sign for black being open. So that's gonna be my pick. There's also Gutter Skulker, which is good. Definitely lost to it before. But our deck is looking to be a little bit more controlling, especially if we wield those four mana three threes with exploit that get back an instant or sorcery. Having premium removal spells to get back like bleed dry is gonna be important. And looks like the Black Green High Toughness deck is available with a very late Ancient Lumber Knots. I guess I'm not super committed to blue, so I could speculate on green. I'm passing a Chill of the Grave, which would be playable in blue-black especially, plenty of zombies. And a Scab, but I feel like we can get more Scabs later. So I think I would probably pick Chill if we were to take a blue card or a blue-black card. But I could speculate on Lumber Knots. Doesn't work particularly well with what we already have. Yeah, I think I'll go with the chill. If we had some more high toughness creatures, I would be more into the idea. But blue seems to be flowing, so I don't see a reason to pivot. I do like Lantern Bear quite a bit. Cheap sacrifice fodder. That can provide a bit of value from the graveyard. Not a fan of the spirit. Just a bad blocker in a deck that wants to be controlling. Monstrosity... I have yet to really see in action, so I'll reserve my opinion. Uh, Boarded Window, I've heard some good uh, things about, but I've yet to see them play. Don't know if it's where I want to be in blue-black. I think I'd rather have the bearer, which is for sure going to make the deck. Seeing some red cards late, Ancestral Anger as well. Uh, some more okay green cards, like the Bows could be fine in black green. But uh, I've been pretty happy with access to Heirloom as Graveyard Hate. And blue black tends to draw a lot of cards, so the extra mana comes in handy. Sure. Like Entomer could also be fine in blue black in theory, and discard your uh, disturbed creatures to get, then buy back with uh, the enchantment half, but can probably pick one of those up later. Big fan of the Wretched Throng, if we can get at least two copies. I think two or three is kind of the sweet spot. 
and gives you nice exploit sacrifice fodder. But there's also a persistent specimen, which is kind of similar in what it does. I think I'll take the throng because I think I would be happier with two throngs and no specimen as opposed to one specimen, no throng, if we can get there. And it's also zombie to synergize with uh, Rider for what it's worth. All right, we did wheel both specimen and scab. I might wheel the other scab. I'm probably not going to get another specimen, even though scab is maybe a little more synergistic in our deck currently. Yeah, I'll go with the scab, but I'll happily take a specimen later. The fact that there's one ninth pick is probably promising for future specimens to make it to us. And then the assistant's fine. And we did wheel the scab, so maybe in hindsight I would have preferred specimen, but that's fine. I'll still play two scabs. Even the siphon essence could be okay. All right, I guess a specimen would have been the pick. Hoo-hoo. Hello, second headless rider. Why not? They're especially good in multiples. The security works with blood tokens, so don't really want that one. Happy to wield Chill of the Grave. Nothing else I want. Alright, so time to pick up some more exploit creatures and sacrifice fodder. Always happy to pick up more removal to get back with the scab. A Scattered Thoughts as another card draw spell would be nice, although I already have a Thirst at least. And being a 3-drop actually makes it quite a bit better, because that allows us to play Thirst on 3 and maybe Scab on 4 if we played some early Sacrifice Fodder, as opposed to having a ton of 4-drops that you want to cast. Here, the Butler's not bad. Scavenger also actually has been pretty reasonable. The added on graveyard hate. There's also the scab. Not sure how easy it is to get two creatures in my graveyard easier in blue green. I think Butler is probably the better pick since we're light on two drops. Gives me something early that I'm happy to sacrifice. But if we wheel like any of these, I'll be happy. Another Butler. Might be the pick. I've also been impressed by the Foreboding Statue as far as uh, three drops go. So, yeah, probably still Butler here. And then can expect to wheel another assistant if we want it. With two copies of Rider, the zombie synergies are going to matter quite a bit more than if we only had one. So I might want to take an Entumor now. Has a bit of synergy with Butler getting creatures back from the graveyard. Uh, Witness, another 4-drop. Could be okay. It's not like we're casting a ton of non-creature spells. But it is a flyer, and flyers win games of limited. So, close here between the two. Yeah, it's probably quite likely that we wheel another Entumor. Alright, there's another one. Probably fine to pick that up now, don't need a fourth scab. And Blood Fountain also seems redundant with double butler. Another bear is fine. Alright, so we're still missing some removal here. Would love to pick up another bleed dry or some other interaction to get back with our repository scab. There we go. <laughs> Seventh pick, that's incredibly late, which is a very good sign that there's more to come. And uh, Lunar Rejection's not bad. Four mana, bounce, draw card. Sometimes two mana. Or we could take Binding Geist has more value to get from the graveyard if we mill it with Butler or discard it with Entumor. So this one's close. Um, yeah, not sure about that one. But uh, Interaction's never bad to have with Triple Scab. Take a chill over Spirit, even though Spirit's like a fine defensive 2-drop that we could later sacrifice. Still hoping to get another Throng 
Like if one of these gets opened, we're very likely to get it, given how open blue has been. And now the scab is actually looking okay with double butler to mill. So might take it over the ghoul. Don't have any five drops yet. And farmer could actually be okay too. Have a lot of ways to transform it with all the exploit creatures. And don't think I'm playing any of these. Socialite's a great card, but not in blue-black. And people have figured out that the equipment's quite bad. All right, last pack. Did not open a third Headless Rider, unfortunately. So what do we have? Not much, sadly. I guess an Innocent Traveler is fine, like a 1-3 that quickly transforms into a 3-3 three, three Flyer. Over Rare Drafting. Rare Drafting is tempting, I'll be honest. But Traveler might be making the deck still at this point. Maybe over a Scab even though it's not particularly synergistic. Are we going to have an easy time activating Monstrosity? Probably not. Do have a few ways to exile, don't I? With all the disturbed creatures we can eventually exile. And who? hello there, Arch Ghoul of Thraben in our zombie deck. Don't mind if I do. Would love to take the Scattered Thoughts as well. Binding Geist, another good one. Even the Specimen. Might even consider the Grizzly Ritual, but Arch Ghoul it is. And I see a lot of blue and black cards. Probably gonna end up taking Doom the Center here, since I wouldn't mind another 2-mana creature I can sacrifice, given that we still haven't picked up a second throng. And we took the Lunar Rejection earlier, so the Center it is. Now I'm tempted by the Evolving Wilds. There is also the Cat Geist, which does have good synergy with the Lantern Bearer. So I am considering it. But we're not going to struggle to get enough playables, and with cards like Bleed Dry and Cruel Witness in the deck, I think I'll need the fixing. And... Might play a third Lantern Bearer. Good way to close out the game. Another Evolving Wilds I'll happily play. And then seventh pick. We already have two Chill of the Grave. I have an Assistant. Might get another one here in a second. So do I want second Scab or third Chill? Might be second scab. It's also a zombie. Ooh, nice. Scattered Thoughts is awesome. Although, oof, in the same pack as a Wretched Throng. I did not think I would ever struggle to make this decision. But if I take a Throng, all of a sudden we have two great two drops. Although I do have triple Lantern Bearer. I think it might be Scattered Thoughts. With... I'm probably going to cut one scab, but with two scabs, just having the high-quality card draw seems important. And uh, can take the assistant, probably not going to play another one. Eh, I guess I might. Wow. We wield Scattered Thoughts and Persistent Specimen. I think I'm going to be greedy and take another Scattered Thoughts. I'll easily cut Witness. Innocent Traveler I don't need to play. Yeah, let's just go with all the card draw here. And... Rejection Wields. Yeah, Monstrosity seems a little pricey. Got a lot of card draw and other ways to spend our mana. Don't think I'm playing any of these.
tough call there. If I knew I was going to get another Scattered Thoughts, I might have taken the Throng instead, but still uh, looking at a pretty decent pile. So, sort creatures and non-creatures. So I mentioned Cruel Witness can easily go. Innocent Traveler, not particularly synergistic, even though it's a fine card. And then I might cut one Repository Scab, still have two to buy back all my removal. Then these all look okay. Farmer can gain a bit of life back, plenty of ways to transform it. And then the Throng sadly has to go, but still have Double Butler, Dissenter, Entomber, Triple Lantern Bearer, which also works well with the Entomber. It's a zombie for, for the Double Headless Rider and Double Chill of the Grave. Although I still need to make six cuts. Maybe one Stitched Assistant can go. How many exploit creatures does that leave me with? Not that many. I've got a Felstinger, two Scabs. So it's possible that I want to keep the two assistants here. Then looking at our non-creature spells. Siphon Essence is good with all these other instants, so I'm tempted to still play it. Heirloom ramps from 3 to 5 which is not all that useful since we're usually casting a 4-drop on Curve. So Heirloom, while the Graveyard hit is nice, isn't strictly necessary for how the, the Curve in our deck looks like, if that makes sense. So I think we cut it. Yeah, at least one non-creature spell has to go, maybe two. Probably cut one Scab. And maybe one Lantern Bear. Still leaves me with... Uh, four, five, six early creatures to sacrifice, which is a reasonable number. Three more cuts. Um, maybe one lunar rejection can go, and maybe one chill of the grave. And then we've got a, a nice mix of interaction card draw. And then even if we mill some of our removal spells, we can get them back with the scab. Do we want to go 16 lands? I don't think we do. This deck does really want to keep hitting its land drops. Because even in the late game, we can still use our mana pretty efficiently with all the card draw effects we have. It's possible that I've got too many card draw effects and I should go to Scattered Thoughts. But given that I don't have many other 4 drops, I think I'll still keep it. I don't think I can cut any cheap stuff. So it might be an assistant, or it might be a farmer. I think those are probably the weakest. Yeah, I'm liking the Siphon Essence, because if we look at our interaction, it's all instant speed. So if I pass a turn with four mana up, that gives me a lot of flexibility. Yeah, farmer has the least amount of synergy. The life gain can certainly be helpful in some matchups. But, um... Yeah, I guess it's not a zombie, so that makes that decision. All right, well, our deck's got a bit of removal, lots of interaction, and uh, some good zombie synergies, hopefully, with Headless Rider. The way we are going to close out the game, just pure card advantage, outvaluing our opponents, eventually flying over thanks to Lantern Bearer, the Scab, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, we can just generate so much card advantage that we're going to out-grind most opponents, I, I feel. So, not too worried about having a specific win condition in this deck. Then the mana base, skew towards blue. Although I do need double black for bleed dry. So, it's still close. I mean, we do have two Evolving Wilds, which should help as well. It's not like I necessarily have to play Lantern Bear on turn 1. So I might actually go 8, 7 in favor of Swamp. Because missing on Bleed Dry is pretty rough. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, I think we've got our deck. A Ride or Die, also a good name. Speaking of Headless Rider. I'll keep... Right and die, also a good one.
Alright, let's hope they don't have the one mana deal two damage. And that's the one mana deal two damage exile, so we don't get a 2 2 token. Ouch. And a pack song pop. Quite scary. So, probably going to end up killing the pup. I think I'll do that before playing the rider. Shrinks down the rich wolf as well. Guess it's time for a rider, even though it's not the most mana efficient. And then I guess I'll trade it for Stalker if they offer. Just want to protect my life total. All right, it's going to trample over too, that's painful. So we had a great hand, but our opponent's got a great start. On the bright side, they're stuck on three lands, although that does mean they're holding all spells. Okay, so I can scatter thoughts, hoping to find like the Chilling Grasp, potentially, to tap something down. Could play Assistant without exploiting. I think I need to scatter Thoughts and then if I find any 2-mana spell, I'll be happy. Even if we find the the Wolf Bound spell for 2-mana, that works, so... Alright, we've got... probably Scab and Doom to Center and play Doom to Center now. Alternatively, I can take Assistant, Doom the Center, so this turn I the center, next turn I can double Assistant. But Scab actually stabilizes us, whereas Assistant just trades at best. Two creatures going to the graveyard means the uh, Scab will be enabled. Yeah, this seems fine. All right, we're dead to any removal or burn spell or pump spell, pretty much. All right, so how do I want to block? I feel like Chump, Stalker, block Ridge Wolf to trade. As opposed to double blocking Stalker. A Wolf Strike. So I'm taking six. So if my play is scab, I would still need to draw into something relevant here, but it's probably better than assistant. So I need a two mana play basically. That is sadly three mana. Alright, so we're dead on board if they go for it. And I mentioned they'll go for it. I guess not playing a two drop was our mistake this game. Alright, it's too bad. Decent hand. I got the Lunar Rejection in case of any werewolves this time. And then probably fetching double black and skipping the turn one bearer to play a turn two butler, I think. The 
build a couple lands. But we can wait for a creature to end up in the graveyard before killing it. Take two for now. Yeah, probably fine to Headless Rider. Although for opponents keeping up a removal spell, it's also tempting to pass with Thirst up instead. But I'm eventually gonna play the Rider. And if this trades for like an Abrade and leaves behind a 2-2 Zombie, I'm happy with it. Can eventually buy it back with a Butler. Right. Wolf Strikes, totally fine. And a Ballista Watcher. So good target for Lunar Rejection. Don't want to let it switch to nighttime. So probably have to act now. Wouldn't be the most mana efficient play unless I draw an island, sadly. Or I could go with like a chill of the grave for now. Which also basically shuts it down. Just bounce it now. Alright, bleed dry is good. And then I'll stay back. Not trying to race the red green deck. Happy to double block. Okay, so if I want to kill it, I should kill it now. And that seems fine. Scamp can buy back, bleed dry later. Lightning Wolf, sure. So still incentivized to keep playing stuff main phase. And then get back. Probably still bleed dry, although rejection would also be fine. Probably just want a more permanent answer. And Butler gets back Rider. Seven cards in hand. Could use a few extra land drops. Alright, so we get a chance to trade since this can only be used at sorcery speed. Opponent maybe just realized. Alright, it is night time. Could switch it back today. Would be nice to keep up Siphon Essence now, because I can keep it up alongside Thirsts. So I guess it means playing Lantern Bear and passing, as opposed to switching it back to daytime. Or I could go Bear plus Rider. No, nah, I'll keep up Counterspell. Seems safer. Can bleed drive needed. That's fine. And then we'll draw some cards instead. Probably we'll be discarding two as opposed to a land. Alright, so decline. And then what do I get rid of? Scamp, maybe? Although Scamp's great value with Rider. So if I plan to eventually play Scab, I can get back like an instant or sorcery I discard here. 
I could also just ditch the Siphon Essence and start playing stuff main phase from now on, because next turn I can potentially double spell Rider into Felstinger. Yeah, it seems fine. Keep all the creatures to combo with Rider, keep my lands. Scab's good too. Opponent's got something. Could have attacked for one first, but if they kill the rider here, I might change my decision. Alright, another rider is nice, so next turn we can 3 plus 4. Another wolf strike leaves behind a zombie. It is daytime. And the flourishing hunter we can deal with. Alrighty. So here I'm liking rider pass with bleed dry available, and then I'm happy if they trade for Felstinger. If they don't attack, I'll probably bleed dry enough turn and buy it back with Scab next turn. Alright, that's understandable. Alrighty, on the draw. Fine hand. Do I want to bear on turn one? I guess we can fetch turn three. Sure. And then maybe just the center pass. Fine to trade here. Bright Scown. Okay. Suppose fetching first was maybe slightly better if I wanted to increase my chances of milling a creature. Desperate Farmer, so they've got some good life gain synergies going. Probably want to bleed dry if they try and equip. And we can scatter thoughts otherwise. So this only gives two power. Yeah, I guess Bear can keep attacking. That's the beauty of blue black having these two common instants at four mana. Makes it kind of tricky for the opponent to play around both. Now I'm happy to just double block. Currently would be getting back the scab, which is totally fine. If they play a pump spell, we can punish them. Right, so the bystander, I guess, is going to transform now. But we can still kill it. And a courier bat to get back the farmer. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess we'll just scatter thoughts then. As opposed to bleed dry, or I could bleed dry and then scab gets back bleed dry instead. Answering the board might be better here. And then just deal with the bystander. Or deal with the bats. Although this will transform. This is going to be a 3-5. The bat I can always jump if needed. Chill. 
chill, could also tap it down, but it's kind of inefficient right now. So now we've got our zombie to make this cost two. So next turn I can double spell if needed. Do I want to take four? Yeah, probably. Fleeting spirit. This one's a little tricky to remove, but graveyards are empty. But we can just uh, block it with a lantern bearer. So play a land and then Pass, plan is to chill and still have four mana up. And then probably chilling the bats. Cavalry, sure. And we'll draw. Bleed dry plus another rider looks good. Can play rider, keep a bleed dry. And I'm most likely going to end up killing the cavalry, but we'll wait and see. Bonin moves to combats. I guess they could attack giving this flying, which I maybe want to avoid. Ooh, and a scab. Do we have two creatures? We certainly do. Blocks the bat nicely. And then... Could chip in for one. So happy to find another scab, another scattered thoughts. Any sort of card draw effects. Felstinger, certainly good too. So, if I fell Stinger, I don't have the mana to disturb a Lantern Bearer and Bleed Dry. So instead, probably just start with fell Stinger, sacrifice a Lantern Bearer, and see what's next. Okay, more goodies. So it could start getting a little bit more aggressive now. Could disturb plus exploit or can pass with the two four mana instants available, which I like. And then the two two zombies can attack. Scab probably wants to stay back in case a farmer transforms. And then the scab probably wants to stay back to block the bats. So just the two two zombies. Sure. Opponent passes, we'll draw some cards. 
has to feel pretty bad for the opponents passing and having the opponent draw even more. We are down to seven cards, so I have to be a little careful that I actually end the game. But the rider helps with that as well. The zombie tokens can certainly attack once again. Might send in repository scab as well. And then I want to keep up bleed dry siphon essence. So yeah, I'll start with rider and then move to combats. Opponent double checking that we actually have two in the deck. We do indeed. Yeah, maybe sending scabs a little too aggro. But I'll send the rest. Opponent cannot give first strike at the moment, only one card in graveyard since we exiled everything. Opponent goes digging. I guess the blood tokens can eventually give this first strike if they discard one more. Is that a reason for me to bleed dry the spirit right now? Or do I let them block and exile first? I guess I'll let them block and exile first so their graveyard's empty in case they save the spirits. Alright, so just that one. Sure. Opponents gives it first strike. Honestly, I could also just let this happen. We get a replacement 2-2 two -two token and it allows me to keep up Siphon Essence. It might be safer here. Opponents at 9. I'll pass. Don't want to mill myself. Like, let's imagine our opponent had the 7 mana demon having an answer with essence and bleed dry. Seems important. No reason to lose to that card. No attacks. Do I want to kill anything now? Guess I can kill the farmer and then probably go all out next turn. I expect him to have at least one instant speed removal spell, maybe two. So let's put maybe flying on one of my creatures before attacking. Don't know if it really matters. A zombie token gain swings. No need to play Archgul pre combats. Don't need to draw more. So I'll just attack and see what happens. So if they have two blocks and a removal spell, they would still take seven here. Alright, opponent packs it in. Okay, on the play with a fine hand. Butler into perhaps assistance, or we can pass with Siphon Essence and Thirst. Thirst hasn't been too amazing so far because this deck actively wants to hit its land drops. Probably slightly better in like a blue-green self-mill deck if there are specific cards you want to be discarding. Don't have any 4 drops, so I think it's okay to curve Butler into 3. Scattered Thoughts can maybe eventually get back with the 4 mana scab. And we got a free Lantern Bear. Ooh, nice, the blue-black mirror match. Turn 2 Throng. So... Hmm. I guess I don't really want to sacrifice Butler to assistance. Because there's only a Lantern Bearer to get back. So I'll just pass with a couple uh, instants. A 
could technically discard one of my creatures to Thirst to then get back with a butler. Opponent passes. Stuck on two lanes. So I want to try and punish them by applying pressure. Alright, Syncopate for one is what they had instead. That works. Lantern Bearer I could consider sacrificing here. It's a close call. I think I just play Bearer and pass and then next turn we'll sack it to an assistant maybe. Opponent still stuck on two. Maybe? No. Gets in for two. I'll take it. They drew another throng. Feels bad, man. Ooh, Headless Rider. Now we're talking. Play that and pass. <laughs> the third throng. Okay, I guess I'm fine just making some trades here, getting back to Lantern Bear, and the next turn I can play it plus assistance. Let's see if our opponent has a fourth throng. They do? Do they have a fifth? They do? <laughs> Alright. Well, we struggled to get a second in our draft. Opponent got five. Could play the Felstinger as well. Kind of still like Lantern Bear into Assistance. Is that better than Stinger? It's pretty close. It's not like the Death Toucher does much for me at the moment. Do I want to draw a Swamp? Not particularly. And I guess we'll trade a Zombie here since our opponent's got infinite throngs. Alright, do they have a 6? Alright, only 5. Although I guess they could have another one in hand that we don't know about. Scamp's nice. So assistance can be sacrificed to scab, get back scattered thoughts, I guess. Kind of sad we don't get to apply pressure, but now at least scab is a 3 3, so has a better time attacking. Alright, now I guess I wouldn't mind hitting a couple extra lands. Now that we've got the card draw to go with it. Bioloom Egg. I should probably get rid of before they can sacrifice it. Could always respond to a an exploit creature, but I want to start attacking too here. Could trade Headless Rider since we've got another one incoming. Although it's better to trade once we have double Rider in play, because then at least I'll make two zombie tokens. Alright, is this the last of the throngs? They got decent value out of them, despite drawing a few in their opening hand, which is to be expected when you're playing 5. Throng pass. So I could keep up Siphon Essence plus Scattered Thoughts. I think instead I'm just going to play Rider, send the team. They cannot syncopate and I can still play an Entomer as well.
How many throngs is too many throngs? Well, opponent thinks it's at least five. Undying Malice. Opponent saves the throng. Can sacrifice and tumor to the Felstinger. Can start flying over at some point too. Cruel Witness. Yep. Can play my own scab. I think I still prefer Felstinger. Hope to draw a land for Siphon Essence to hold up. So let's do that. Alright, and then Scab gets to attack. Probably don't want to send Rider just yet. Throng trades. I've been saying throng a lot in this uh, game, haven't I? It's a fun word to say. And we're close to the point where we're just gonna turn everyone sideways. The mana disadvantage is starting to catch up. Opponent passes, I imagine bleed dry in hand. Which uh, I guess will resolve. So they can exile the rider. Block a zombie, still take 6, 9. Yeah, it seems fair. Ah, bleed Rhino Stinger instead. Kind of surprised by that. Because now if they trade for the Rider... We would get an extra token, but they're probably blocking a zombie token here. Sure. So I can pass and then both Scattered Thoughts and Essence, but I wouldn't be able to scamp plus Essence one mana short. Can pay for syncopates. And double lantern bear next turn should be game. Cradle, fair enough. Alright, so I think we've we've discovered that our opponent was only playing five throngs and not six. Important data points. On the play, fine hands. Turn two. Interesting choice. Butler sets up Rider, maybe making a zombie token sooner. Alright, got uh, Arch School to potentially get back right away. Turn 3 we'll play Rider and then can keep up Essence alongside Bleed Dry. Still missing double black for Bleed Dry. There's an argument for passing with Island in hand, so I can discard it to Thirst, since I do want land 4, but I kinda want it to be a swamp. And it's not like I need land 5 immediately, so missing my land drop here is not a disaster. 
So let's just pass. And then if I don't need to siphon, I can thirst. Hopefully they don't exile my rider. Why not main face thirst in case I want to siphon instead? Career bats. Yeah, second career bat could be slightly annoying. Don't have any flyers at the moment, so that's gonna start chipping in. Opponent gets in for two, so we get to get in for four. Questionable damage trade there. But uh, yeah, now we can thirst and we've got the basic land to discard. With Evolving Wilds, probably going to fetch a Swamp before casting this, if I remember. And that we can potentially exile. Alrighty. I guess I want triple blue potentially. And then don't mind main phasing this to get an attack in. We're a bit light on sacrifice creatures here. Would love to draw an exploit creature to sacrifice Bearer or Butler. Could have also kept Bearer in hand to eventually discard to Entomber, although that's gonna take a while. Currently Scab only has two creatures to exile, and one of those I would maybe want to get back with the Butler. So I might want to hold on to Scab or have my opponent kill one of my creatures. Bat still attacking. Could jump but exiling bearer also kind of feels bad. Could always use the blood token to discard something, so that's probably what I'll do now that we drew the land. So step one, attack. They might kill the rider with like deal or destroy an attacking creature, although they can just hard cast it for six. And then... Um, Discard Entomber with the blood, play Scab, Exile Entomber, and the Stitched Assistance. Could also discard the Center, to be fair, since Entomber has a bit of synergy with Headless Rider. But uh, the Center is still going to be okay later. It's going to be a Lantern Flare instead. A little risky here, if I had another Bleed Dry. So I guess I can do this now in case I draw another Bleed Dry. I did not. Alright, and then I'll go with the Scab. And then Assistant plus Doom the Center is a good combo. Or I could sacrifice the Butler to get back one of my good th three drops from the graveyard. So it feels like we're doing okay, but don't have access to removal, so could lose to a bomb. Need to find one of our four mana scabs to get back Bleed Dry. That's fine. Take five, I guess. And there's a bleed dry. Okay, so now we're in the driver's seat. If I can leave a bleed dry, probably for the best. So, assistant sacrifices butler. I 
get back a rider. And attack. Put on traits. Alright, given that the trade happened, I guess I'll play a rider. Even if they have the seven mana demon, they don't have another creature to sacrifice to it, and then bleed dry will answer it. Gift of Fang skills assistance, but still has them facing a damage and an imprisonment. Fair enough. So opponent is at 8. Anyway, I can kill them guaranteed. Don't have access to Scorpion. And uh, that would probably be the easiest way. So we'll just attack, sack, scab to the scab. Just scab things. Yeah, this is a lot of value. Guess I'll get the counterspell. Okay. Can even beat a sweeper thanks to Headless Rider. Alright. On the draw, fine hands. Alright, opponent's gonna hit the Entomber and see our Counterspell, which I guess is relevant information. Don't have a 2-drop to sacrifice now, so it did throw off my curve a little bit. Stinger gonna draw 2. Alright, so they know about Siphon Essence, but they might still play into it, and I don't feel like playing a 3 mana 3 2 here. And I'm fine if the game goes long. So if they pass and do nothing, that's fine by me. Uh, infantry is not exciting, but. I'll use my mana. And a Headless Rider looks good. Can once again maybe end up using the Blood Token to enable Scab. So I have one creature in Graveyard. If I discard Assistance, then Scab can draw a card. And then, do I want to trade a rider for Geists? Not particularly. But it's not a terrible trade. Can maybe go for it next turn. Yeah, I can try and make that trade next turn if I play second rider. They could, of course, enchant it, in which case that's no longer going to work. But. Then it's a different game where we can just draw bleed dry to punish them. Alright, Heron can block as well. So I guess now going rider attack is reasonable. At least we baited out an adamant will. And next turn I can maybe sack a zombie token, get back Siphon Essence. We'll see. Alright, I 
guess that's a free attack, basically. So they've got one card left in hand, Bystander will transform, but still at a healthy 18 life. A Lantern Bearer can be sacrificed as well. Although that doesn't let me keep up the counterspell I get back. Is that a problem? Potentially. This is a 3-5 that can gain Death Touch. So that I would like to double block with Scab and a Zombie token. Yeah, I mean they're top decking, they're not super likely to play another creature next turn. So I think it's fine to sack the bear. Because uh, giving something else flying later is going to be useful to block their creatures. And then I'm probably still okay playing one land out, the other we can maybe discard to the blood token. And no attacks. So I really want to find a bleed dry at some points. Imprisonment, too bad. So now we're sort of losing to the flyers. Would have been a great spot to find another exploit creature. Instead, I can Lantern Bearer the Scab to block the Geist at least, still take four a turn. It's probably the best I can do. And then we're just one removal spell away from Glory. Take four. And a courier bats, we will gladly counter. Stinger. All right, nice. We can get some value for Scab, which was about to get exiled. So we got one turn to find an answer here. Butler doesn't quite do it. Milled a few good answers, sadly. Okay, well, last chance. Down to one we go. Reason to chump with the scab is if I could somehow sack the butler. I can get back Scab, get back Bleed Dry, but then I still lose to... No, I guess then it would buy me a little bit of time. But then the Geist would eventually still be a problem. It's actually an interesting decision here. Because if the Geist dies without me exiling it, they'll be able to make 1-1 one, one tokens, perhaps. Unless I deal with the Enchanted Creature. Because those 1-1 one, one tokens, if I'm at 1, could easily finish me off as well. I think my best bet is still just like top decking, 
either a bleed dry, another scab, my bounce spell, or the chill to keep the heron tap down for an extra turn. So we still have a few outs here. Ooh, cavalry. All right, that significantly reduces the number of outs. Did draw an assistant, so that sacks a butler to get back a flyer. But I'm afraid that it's still not going to be enough. Rejection, all right, that's step one. And then I need my Chilling Grasp as the next draw, basically. So we'll keep this. And then I can Rejection the Heron. And then I need to draw the Grasp to tap down Cavalry before it gets a chance to attack. Does that check out? Can I make any attacks in the meantime? Uh, I can maybe send Fell Stinger. That's probably it. And then thinking if there's any other two mana plays I could draw. Reason to like rejection main phase for two mana. I guess I'll turn on the untapped overlay real quick so I can have a look at the remaining cards in my deck. You can always check out the untapped overlay in the link below the stream. And uh, use the untapped link to download the tracker, which supports the channel as well. So, Lantern Bearer, definitely a reason to main phase the Rejection. Could also go Scab into Lantern Bearer, but I think Rejection is still going to be better. Because that gives us two outs between Chill and Lantern Bearer. So, let's do this now. Bounce Heron. We've got a two-outer. Ah, Scattered Thoughts. Too bad. Close one here. I guess we would be blocking this one, but GG's, close game. So, yeah, we had a nice board presence on the ground, but blue-black can be a little bit weak to flyers, and our opponent had a decent number of them. Sadly, couldn't find our removal in time. So, ended up 6-3. and three. One of the losses was, I guess, technical difficulties, you could call them. But uh, yeah, definitely a solid deck. Got to see some cool zombie synergies, graveyard recursion, a plenty. Even got close to decking sometimes. So yeah, this is a good example of a blue-black exploit deck. Even if we didn't have a ton of exploit synergies, like the uh, uncommon at two mana, for instance. Pack one, pick one. Uh, nothing too exciting here. Probably between the two uncommons, Skulker and Security, can both be quite decent securities. More of a build around needs the uh, blood tokens to go with it. Skulker is a bit more flexible, it goes into pretty much any blue deck. Kassic Bullfrider is quite solid, chips in a bit of damage early, and then late game can uh, help you win a board stall by making a couple tokens. Stormchaser Drake, good in like a blue-white disturb deck, good in blue-red where you can target it with the one mana sorcery. And then some other decent cards here too. Inspired Idea is okay. Problem is in blue-black you've got so many card draw effects and card advantage that 
it is sort of replaceable, so it's not a card I would necessarily be excited to first pick. Like an Arch School might be a better pack one pick one, as it kind of sets you up for the zombie deck. The Vengeance I've already had cast against me once as a nice two for one, so it can be decent. But of course, you do need to have quite a few vampires yourself. Ooh, the Blood Vial Purveyor, definitely a bomb. If it doesn't get answered right away, it's definitely going to win you the game. But uh, there's definitely answers out there, especially in black and white. And a Cemetery Protector, also a solid card. Hopefully you can exile a creature with it and then start making an army of 1-1 tokens. And a 3-4 with Flash can also easily ambush the many 3-3s three and 3-2s three in the set. Alrighty. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for today's stream. But for now, wanna thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd. 